Okay, fish room update number two. As you know, before we had a 29 that sprung a leak with my King Kong, and uh, I ended up just removing the whole tank because I have spare 29s. But it did take me uh, a night to get the bath full seal combed in and let it set overnight. She just uh, got moved out of my 110. I had her in the 110 gallon uh, before I had her in a 55 with the other one that you seen in my previous video but I had her in a 110 for a little bit and uh, she was getting nipped on no, I don't like her being nipped on she, she's very full of personality she eats out of your hand you know I just didn't like her getting beat up on um, this is the little red devil in Dubai and a couple more I think needs uh, the grass cream you can see the algae is getting on the front but I don't mind the algae on the front I do but uh the back what's painted black you you never notice it and it helps with nitrates oh red devil she's uh fine yep she had a batch of eggs she didn't have no one to fertilize them so eggs went bad so this is the 55 it's doing all great it's due for a water change here in a day or two and a good vacuuming but everybody's very happy. Spoiled. Everybody's growing pretty good. Now it's 55 won't hold these all this uh, amount of fish their entire life, but uh, it'll hold them for a bit longer. They still growing. The green tails get pretty good size. The gimpses get good size. <sighs> And the Texans get really good size too. But uh, down below here, I got the lights off on her. That's a red based nook. And uh, I, when I got her, she's she's pretty skinny and stuff. I am treating her for parasites and stuff. She say it's still not eight yet, but uh, I'm gonna try to get her to eat here in the, hopefully in a day or two more. She'll start eating. Let the posy grow and the meds uh, take care of her. This was the 55 quarantine tank for the crown knife and stuff I had. If you watched the update video, they are out of quarantine now and the red bay snooks in it. Bigger fish take bigger tanks. Uh, down here is a grow out tank and lights off on it too. It's uh, Cubans and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty well the update so far on the fish room that I got going on. We still have to add more wax and get the air lines lined out and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it always takes time. I got a lot going on. And uh, if anybody's in the hobby knows, uh, fish is not the cheapest hobby. It's not the most expensive hobby neither. Just depends what you're into. But when you got all kinds of fish this size, and then you got a red bay snook this size, and then you got bigger fish. You know, it takes a lot to get keep up tanks and stuff. But let me go ahead and show you my 110 right fast before I end this video. So this is the 110. And uh, you know, it's daytime out. I got the window cut and open on them a little bit. Uh, this tank ain't been set up too long. It's pre-cycled media, it's running a canister. I didn't paint my background because I didn't think of having a, it's one of the spare the moment tank setups. You know, I can get behind the tank with a roller and paint the, paint the background and stuff. But uh, it's running a canister. It's running a sun sun and a UV light and all that good stuff. It's still got some water, water column particles, but that'll clear up eventually. Um. That's my other Texan. He's a pretty boy. My Florida guy. I got a big uh, crown knife though. He's he's a uh, kind of mopey at the moment because uh, everybody in this tank is mopey. Because if you look behind here, my jag is building a nest. You know, he ain't got nobody to mate with. Because male, and I don't think a crown knife would mate with a jag. Uh, yeah, 
I know the Florida guy ain't gonna mate with the Jag. And I ain't got a mate for the Jaguar. I mean, I got a Red Devil he would cross over. And I got some pellets he probably would uh, cross over. Probably would cross over with my Mayans. But uh, I know he would cross over with my Cubans. But he probably would see my Cubans as food. And that's why everybody is stressed out. But uh, as long as he don't beat up on nobody too bad and get too crazy then the thing be fine because if not I have to put him into the 125 or something so you know that's what you deal with when you got big big aggressive fish and you see my old crown knife he was beat up when I got him he's healing up nicely though he's very active now he's in quarantine he wasn't even hard removed in quarantine now he's actually doing good so if you enjoyed these update videos let me know in the comment section and uh you know hit that subscribe button appreciate it if you do and uh you need to quit doing that to the tank uh big guy yeah you messing my scape up but uh yeah you know leave a comment drop a like see you next time thank you for watching